What's up guys, this is Josh, one of your developer advocates and welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to explore the powerful combination of Linode's Marketplace app and AppWrite's. Now AppWrite is an open source self-hosted back-end server that simplifies the deployment of web and mobile applications. Now AppWrite provides developers with a comprehensive set of tools, including user authentication, database management, file storage, and much more. And in this tutorial, I want to walk you guys through the process of deploying AppWrite using Linode's Marketplace. And I'll show you how to get started with this incredible platform. So let's get to it. Now, in order to get started, you'll need a Linode account. So head over to cloud.linode.com. And if you don't have one, sign up for free on Linode's website. Now, once you logged in on the left hand side, you can see they have a number of options on the menu. So you got Linode, Volume, uh, No Balancer, Firewall, uh, pretty much a whole bunch of menu options here. And what we're looking for is the Marketplace app. So all you have to do is click Marketplace down here on the left, and then it will bring up all the available apps for you within the Marketplace. And as you can see, one of the new apps that are included within the cloud platform is AppWrite. And if you click right here on the information button right there, it'll bring up information about AppWrite. And basically it covers everything that I said a little earlier. AppWriter is an open source cross-platform and technology agnostic alternative to Firebase, providing all the core APIs necessary for web, mobile, and Flutter development. And if you need more information about AppWrite, they do have a link to their website, which you can go check out on your own if you run into any issues once getting it set up. But Linode has done a lot of the hard work for you. And all you have to do is hit the X right here and then you can click on AppWrite. This will allow you to set up the server for AppWrite. And as you can see, the default image is Ubuntu. I believe that's the only one you can select at the moment. And yes, it is. So Ubuntu 22.04, it is stable on Ubuntu 22.04. So it is best to use that long-term supported release. And then the next thing is selecting your region. And what you want to do is select the region closest to you. So I'll select Fremont, California. I'm on the West Coast, so that works out perfect for me. And then you want to set up your Linode plan. And you have a couple different options here, and it's all based on your needs. I'll use a small shared CPU uh, for this setup. And I'll simply use the Linode 2 gigabit, which is fine for what I want to do as far as just setting it up and showing you guys. Now you have your Linode labels. So it says AppWrite-US-West. It just automatically creates it for you. You can obviously go in and change this label if you want to. And then also you can add tags to it to specify what this server is used for. Let's say you have a collection of cloud servers, then you can tag all of them based on your needs. That way you can keep them organized. Now, the next thing is setting up a root password. And so you want to go in and make something super strong, you know, because this is the root password for this server. And if someone figures out that the server is set up to allow root authentication to it, they may want to try the password. So you want to make it kind of strong. And then Linode does a great job by forcing you to create a stronger password. That way people can't get into your account. So let's go down and type in something super strong and you could just follow that to see if it is good or not for you and then also another feature and this is included in most linodes that you set up but you can add your ssh keys if you already have some set up you can add those to the system and then also you have options for vlans uh, as well as your typical add-ons like backups and private ips if you need that so let's go down and hit create linode and that'll go through that process Okay, so the server has completed provisioning, but the system still has to go through a process of installing and setting up AppWrite for you. And this usually takes about five to 10 minutes after our compute instance finishes provisioning. So you wanna wait a couple minutes and then we should be able to go to our AppWriter instance via the web. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes and I wanted to show you guys how to go down and connect to your AppWrite website. And all you have to do is go right here on your main uh, page 
of the Linode that you have running, copy that IP address. That's all you need is that IP address. Open up a new tab and then just paste that IP address up there and that'll bring up AppRite for you. And this is that instance that you have installed on that server, obviously because you're typing in that IP address to that server. So it's fully set up for you. You really don't have to do anything past running that marketplace app and setting it all up, figuring out what you want for the server and then deploy it and you have app right set up. Now, as far as logging into it, you wanna make sure no one knows this IP address, at least right off, because someone can actually come up here and sign into your server as an administrator and take it over. And you don't want that to happen. So you wanna get here as soon as possible and then click the sign up button because this is your first time actually getting into that server. And you wanna just put your information in there. So your name, I'm gonna just put Josh and then also you want to put your email address and I'll, I'll just use my personal email address of keep it techie at gmail.com. I'll just use my Gmail and then you want to go down and set up a password for it. So just type in whatever password you want, try to make it super strong so no one can guess it. And then right here, it says while registering, you agree to read and understand and acknowledge our privacy policy and accept the general terms of use. And so just click that checkbox, hit sign up, and that'll create your account. But the first thing that'll pop up is basically setting up a project. This is your first project. So you just want to come up with a name for it. Um, if you already know what you want to set up your project for, then you want to put that in there. So I'm going to just create one called test underscore KIT. And then you can create a project ID. So you specify that. You can put whatever you want in there as the ID for it. And it's alphanumeric, not leading hyper uh, hyphens, underscores, or periods. So you can't lead with any of those. And so I just put 001 KIT as the first project. Uh, and that's an easy way of setting up your project IDs. That way you could distinguish them. Uh, you could put whatever you want in there. But I, I start off with a number, so 001, and then whatever name you want to put in there to distinguish it from other projects. And let's hit create project. Boom. Now, with the project created, you'll be taken to the overview page. And here you can manage your project by adding web application platforms, uh, users, databases, and more. And this is a quick started guide right here for you. And it walks you through each of those steps. So you can add a platform. So our SDKs make it possible to easily add any platform that you want. So web app, uh, Flutter app, uh, Apple app, Android app, and then you can integrate with other servers. So if you want to pull in API keys, uh, web hooks, and so I'm going to click on any of these platforms, but I wanted to show you guys the options over here on the left as far as the menu. So you got authentication. This will allow you to create those users, like I said, stated. And then they do have documentation for it. So if you guys want to look at the documentation, you're more than welcome to. You can set up teams. You can set up the usage, the security, you know, based on the users that you want. You know, you can set up the amount of users to connect or authenticate. Uh, the settings there or other settings that allows them to authenticate based on whatever method you decide. So email, password, magic URLs, phones, anonymous, uh, team invites, JWT, and you can turn these on and turn them off. Databases. I wanted to show you guys that you can set up your own database here. Um, and this is that, like I said, that back end for your app. So you set up that database. They also have some usage information there. Now, documentation, like I said. They have documentation throughout this whole thing. So you can go right over to AppRite and look at all the documentation that'll give you a lot of information on how to use AppRite and make it functional for your purpose. And then right here we got functions. So this allows you to create those functions for the project. And I haven't played around with the functions, so I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. So make sure you look at the documentation for the functions and then storage. So this allows you to manage the storage. And so that's pretty much it. And as you can see, using Linode, AppRite is very simple to set up and deploy within a cloud. And so that concludes my tutorial on deploying and getting started with AppRite using Linode's Marketplace app. And with AppRite's powerful backend services and the ease of deployment provided by Linode, you're well equipped to build and manage your web and mobile applications. So again, 
be sure to explore the official app right documentation to maximize the potential of your instance. And so if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up as well as if you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.